Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another Pandora haul. So the 2022 Valentine's Day collection just dropped on January 6th and I had to get a few pieces. Unfortunately, living where I do, um, there's not a Pandora store anywhere near me. So I always have to order mine in the mail. And they just came, I ripped it open. I haven't looked at anything yet. I'm very excited. So I ended up getting two of the new charms from the new collection and then two older charms that have been on my wish list um, that I needed to finish. Well, not finish. That I wanted for a bracelet I'm working on. So this is my stackers box. If you haven't seen my review, it has all of my um, Pandora pieces in it. The last time you saw it, it only had four sections. I have since expanded to six, including this cute one with the drawer. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do a comprehensive look on my entire collection since it has expanded quite a bit since you've seen it last. Um, so if you want to see that, um, let me know down below. But today we are focusing solely on the new charms. I only brought this out because like I said, two of the charms that I got are meant to go on a bracelet. I want to see how they look. So and I do believe Pandora has some new packaging that I haven't seen yet. Yes. So inside, of course, is the box. It has all the Pandora on it. My receipt for my four charms. And the actual box. So this is the new box, and it's very flat. And it has that pop of pink inside, which is nice. I've seen it on video, but I've never seen it in real life. So here's all my charms. Oh, I always forget that the little bags are sealed. Like I appreciate that, but also I need scissors. Okay. All right, so first one here is, doesn't have the names. I'll look up the official names and put them on the screen. I know most of them but I'm gonna draw a blank on them. So I believe this is the rose and heart charm. It has let's love roses and it's a heart. It's an open works charm. And I'm going to switch the camera in just a second so that you guys get a nice top down view of all the charms, but the rose heart. So this one, and it looks like the other two, the new ones are on the bottom. The little firefly dangle here, it glows in the dark. These are the two older charms that I picked up. I believe this one was last year's Valentine's Day collection, and this one came out last year. So they're not super old. Oh, this one's not sealed. Oh, it was just, was it just the heart that's sealed? Just the first one? Okay, so this one's not sealed at all. I wanted this little firefly, and then when I saw that it glowed, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. This is so cute, you guys. I will definitely give you a close-up look and I cannot wait to see how it glows. But I don't know about y'all. I always pick charms that have a lot of meaning to me. Specifically, I like to buy charms when I'm on trips or when I'm going places or people give them to me for occasions. But every once in a while, a charm comes out like this firefly, and like one of the other ones in here that really kind of triggers a memory for me that's really special. Um, and when I was a little girl, my grandfather in Pennsylvania, we would, every single time we would visit, we would catch fireflies and put them in jars and we would go to bed and we would get up the next morning and the jars would all be empty. All the fireflies had flown away and I always thought it was magic. My grandfather would tell me it was magic that they couldn't be contained. I, of course, I learned later that he let them out so they wouldn't die. But as a little girl, my grandpa telling me that those fireflies magically got out of those jars so that they couldn't be contained was just very special. So I knew I had to have this charm for my grandpa Bill, especially I'm actually wearing it. I have, um, here it is. I have this little owl charm that for me represents my other grandfather on my mom's side. So now I have one for both grandpas. Don't have one for any of my grandmas. Maybe that's next. All right, so now we're on to the two new charms. I'm so excited. Okay, so I got the club charm. This is the first club charm that I've gotten 
and I'm pretty excited about it because it's a ladybug. And as you know, if you follow any of my Pandora videos, ladybugs are very, very special for me and my husband. Um, and they are a big sign for me that he's still with me. And so I always have to get the ladybugs. I was very excited that it's a rose gold and silver ladybug. I cannot wait to take it out of here and look at it. And since it's a club charm, it actually has, instead of a CZ, a small diamond chip, which um, I'm not used to. I don't normally get the club charms. Okay, so this one is sealed as well. Maybe they just like pick their favorites to seal. And the firefly wasn't cool enough. I also really like, I have all the ladybug charms um, and most of them I got years, a couple years ago when things weren't as good. Things are getting better now. And I love that this little ladybug says, hope has wings on the back of it. I will show you up close. But to me, I feel like this is just another message from my husband saying, you know what? It's getting better. Hope has wings. Life, life will be okay. I'm getting a little cheesy on you today. So the typewriter is also sealed. So it was just the heart. Just the heart. Or not the heart, the um the firefly. The heart was sealed. Just the firefly they didn't care about. And then there's a little silica package, and that is everything that's in here. And I suppose they could have threaded the charms on here if they weren't in the little bags. Um, or they could put a bracelet in here. I don't quite know. This seems to have several different cut marks for probably charms and rings and earrings and different things. So they can use this packaging for multiple things as opposed to having all this different packaging, but I like it. I don't know that I like, not with the boxes, but the little pouches um, broke down to store flat. I am definitely a hoarder of boxes. I have all of the boxes for every charm I've ever purchased. And sometimes I think about throwing them away because why do I need them? But then that makes me sad. So I don't. All right, so the last charm that I got, this is the one that I'm considering my Valentine's Day present from my husband. And it is a little typewriter. It is so cute, you guys, I can't wait for the close up. Um, and it says, you are my type. And on the little keys, it says love. And it has a bunch of, it has a little Pandora logo. On the back, it has two little hearts, four little hearts as the little feet. It has a little heart um, connector here. It is really like the detail on this charm specifically is outstanding. They put like even the harp on the back of this is there. It's amazing. Um, and for our very first Valentine's Day together, I, if you don't know, I'm a bit of an antique collector, but my husband was as well. And our very, very first Valentine's Day together, I found a typewriter he loved. He was always obsessed with them. Anytime we go and see one, he wanted it. I found one that said Smith on it. That was the manufacturer's name. And that was his last name. And I bought it for him for Valentine's Day. And at the time we lived up on a third story apartment. And I had to lug this antique typewriter that was so heavy all the way up three flights of stairs to wrap it for him. And he loved it. I still have it. Um, but that's what this represents to me is our first Valentine's Day together. He bought me an iPad. So, you know, I didn't exactly cheap out um, both ways. And no, the iPad had a very sentimental story behind it as well, but I'm not going to tell that here because it's not nearly as interesting. <laughs> It was sentimental to me. He did good. So here's my four charms. I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera so I can show them to you up close and you can see all the detail. And then I'm going to show you um, what bracelets I'm going to put them on. So let's do that. All right. So let's start with this one. The official name is the Open Heart Rose and Flowers Charm. I'll put it on this little charm bar for you. You can see that it has lots of the little hearts 
underneath. It has the roses around the side. I love, and I didn't, I didn't know this until I received it, but you can see it has all these CZs on the actual heart under the roses. And the leaf detail on this is beautiful. And it's not part of the Beauty and the Beast collection, but to me it has that Beauty and the Beast vibe. So I just, it doesn't really hold a special meaning for me other than I love Beauty and the Beast, but um, I just had to have it. And I'm, I'm working on, the bracelet I'm working on is right here. It's an enchanted forest type of bracelet. And I just thought this would be beautiful on it. It does have the hallmarks on it. Let's see where they are. Not on that side. Well, I don't see any hallmarks on it. I will look that up for you and let, leave a comment on the screen if there are any to find. I mean, it definitely came from, uh, from Pandora. <laughs> All right, next charm. Let's do the next not new one. So this is the Glow in the Dark Firefly Dangle. I cannot wait. Oh, you can see it's like, it's starting to glow a little, getting exposed to the light already. I love the details on this with the wings. Like that is just, that's exquisite, really. This one is also going to go on my Enchanted Forest bracelet. You can see the bottom side of the wings has just as much cutout detail as the top. And then the medallion here says Pandora on the back. There's the hallmarks. Easy to find. Don't have to look it up. And the front of the medallion says, you light up my life. I just, I, I really like this charm. I wish it would stay still for y'all to see it really well for a second. And then this is the 2022 Lady Bird and Heart Charm. It is the club charm for this year. So you can see the actual bail here is kind of like that teardrop shape. It is a Lady Bird as opposed to a Lady Bug. You can see that by like the Art Deco on the wings. It has that little diamond chip, the pretty antennas. It does have the the 2022 and the Pandora Hallmarks on the side. Sorry, it's really having a hard time focusing today. There we go. And I love that if you actually open the wings, the inside is that beautiful rose gold heart. And then the back side has just as much detail and it has that hope has wings message. I just, I love, I love the message on that one. That's very special to me. Very special. The last one is the typewriter dangle charm. And I hope this one focuses because the detail on this one is the best of all of them. There we go. So you can see on the little paper, it says you are my type and it has the little Pandora logo right there. And then it has a bunch of little pink keys and then the love keys, the sides has the little, is that a little CZ? Yeah, it has little CZs on the little turny mabobs on the side. And then the heart closure clasp and the hallmarks. I didn't see those CZs before. That's so cute. The other side is the same, but without the hallmarks. And then the bottom has all that detail. So the four little feet are hearts. And then you can see all the inner workings of the typewriter. Like, that is just so cute. I really like that. So, here's my plan. Let me take this 
out. So I am actually still looking for the bracelet, <laughs> for this bracelet. But my plan is that I want the Poetics Bloom bracelet to put this little guy on. And it's going to be a purple themed Enchanted Forest bracelet. Let's see if we can't get it to focus down here. There we go. So you can see we have the Dove of Peace. We have that Daisy openwork charm with the ladybugs and the little dragonflies. We have these beautiful Muranos. I think these Muranos are literally my favorite Muranos that Pandora has ever made for any reason. The little bees and the cherry blossoms, they're just beautiful. We have the cute little gnome, Thumper and Bambi. This one is from my best friend's wedding that just happened. And the only reason it is on this bracelet is because of that purple on the bow. I am, I'm waiting. That's what's coming tomorrow is the two purple forget-me-not spacers for either side of this. And between this purple spacers and the purple Muranos on this bracelet, I love the purple on this heart charm. And honestly, I mean, my best friend is probably one of the most important people in my life. So I don't mind her little... Her little wedding charm there being my centerpiece. I want it to have a place of honor. She also shares my love for all of these gnomes and garden and fairy things. Like, that's kind of our thing. So, this is kind of our bracelet. We have our little toadstool with the frog prints. Another one of those beautiful Muranos. Then we have this, the Mystic Floral Open Work Charm. This one I just got yesterday. It is part of my retired haul that I'll be sharing tomorrow. So you didn't see it. I couldn't resist opening it to see how it looked opposite this Daisy open work charm. And the answer is unfocused. I love it. And then I have my two swans at the end. So my plan here is that I'm going to put my grandfather's little lightning, lightning bug, the firefly, opposite the Dove of Peace because both have wings and they're both dangles. And while I don't necessarily need to balance things like oh I'm having a hard time guys I don't necessarily need to have the same charms be opposite each other I like to have the same kind of weight of charms be opposite each other and dangle versus dangle you know round bead versus round bead the swans I thought opposite I'm looking for something that was the same kind of weight as them and they have that pretty little heart that their necks make and so I thought that this heart charm would be the perfect opposite of this. I really like how this is coming together. So I could also put something else in the middle and put my my best friend's wedding charm and this heart charm opposite each other since they're both hearts if I ever get anything more important for the middle but for now I really like how this looks I do want to clean this it's a bit more tarnished than I'd like um but this is my enchanted forest bracelet I love that firefly I think that might be my favorite charm that I have from this haul and it's not even a new one I cannot wait for those forget-me-not spacers tomorrow. I've been looking for those for years. I'm so excited. So if anybody knows of a Poetic Blooms bracelet and a 7.9, let me know because I want one. But in the meantime, just keeping this on this little bar in here. Sometimes I can, can throw it on another bracelet to wear, but... 
for the most part, I really don't like to take my bracelets apart once they're together. So now we have these two. So let me find the bracelets. I want those to go on. All right, so this is another one that I'm working on. It does not have a theme. It is just rose gold two-toned. You can see these are cascading um, glimmer, shimmer, glitter, cascading something spacers, and they're probably not gonna stay on here, but I thought they'd be pretty for now. Here's another one of my ladybug charms. But I thought that this little ladybug would go perfectly opposite, I think, this ladybug, and I'm gonna move this Christmas dangle over here opposite that one. So let's do that real quick. And obviously, I mean, I need clips for this next. Like that's my next thing. Just making sure it's focused. But I could, I could wear this as it is, even though it's not a full bracelet. And while I do like to fill up a bracelet, I only have two that are full, full, full of charms. This is the next one I'm working on. Most of my other bracelets are like this. They have four or five special charms and that's all that I plan to fill that up. This bracelet, I do plan to fill all the way up eventually. I just, you yeah, know, not quite there yet. And of course, I want to put that ladybird all the way on the end. So let's take everything off. I love this Cinderella's carriage and the silver and the rose. I have it in both. It's on this one. It's probably my favorite charm of all time. If I had to pick one, I think this silver one would be top of my list. And the rose gold one is is shortly after that because it to me represents the same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and put the ladybird here because I want those two ladybugs to be opposite each other. I think they are a better um, weight in the middle there. This charm is beautiful, but it's a little it's a little light compared to the ladybug. So, and I may eventually move this over to a Christmas themed bracelet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put him on the end. That will leave this bracelet a little uneven because this is both a thick charm like this one and a dangle like this one, but it's fine. We're gonna call it fine. Sometimes when you're in the middle of working on a bracelet, it can't be perfect right away. It's still good enough to be beautiful and to wear and all the things. I'm still trying to decide on what clips I want for this bracelet and that I think that might be my next purchase. I don't love my charms going over the, the thread stations without clips um, too much. I've heard that it can damage the clip stations to have the charms going back and forth over them all the time. And so now that I've kind of got enough charms on this bracelet that that's an issue, my fingers are getting black. I just cleaned this bracelet. Leave a comment down below is what I was going to say on which clips you think would look really good with this bracelet because I am still on the fence about it and I would like other people's opinions. Okay, I really like that. And even though this is two charms and this is one, this is such a thin 
bail on it, I think it's fine. Also, no, I have no meaning for the bunny and the kangaroo. They were on sale and I loved them and I bought them. Now I need to go to Australia so I have a meaning for the kangaroo. Okay, who wants to go to Australia with me? That's really pretty. This is going to be a beautiful bracelet when it's done. It's pretty already. All right. Last but not least, I have my little typewriter. And I have an idea for this one. I'm not sure. Ideally, I would like to put the typewriter on a kind of bracelet like this one or this one. These are my two finished bracelets that are all charms. And they are both just memory charms. Things that I bought on vacations or that people have given me. They're not like this one. That's just pretty charms that I bought because I liked them. So, I don't have another memory charm bracelet that I'm working on besides this one. And this one doesn't really quite go. It goes okay, but it doesn't go great. So, here's my plan. I have this bracelet that is leather. I'm trying to get it to sit properly. There we go, pink leather. And I wear it with these two pink hearts. These are not Pandora charms. They're the only not Pandora charms that I have on a regular Pandora bracelet, except for my Harry Potter bracelet. And I have the pretty pink and rose gold Murano leaf in between them. And you will see the reason why I have these that I went outside of Pandora is because they are photo charms. Me and my husband and me, my husband and our fur babies. And so since this is from our first anniversary and it has on the little keys there, that same hot pink that's in this bracelet, I think I'm gonna switch out the Mariana leaf for the typewriter. And put this as the middle charm especially because one of the things I'm getting tomorrow is an medium size O pendant and I think I would like to wear this pendant on that O pendant so I think this will be the perfect compromise and I just cleaned this with a tarnishing cloth from Pandora and it is still super tarnished and I have an ultrasonic cleaner, but I don't want to put the leather in the ultrasonic cleaner. So anybody has any other suggestions? Oh, goodness gracious. The whole little thingy-mabob just came off. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get some epoxy and fix that later. That was frustrating on camera. Oh, well. Anybody knows how to clean this? Well, let me know. Also, if anybody has a better idea of how to put that back on besides some little epoxy, let me know. But I think it needs to go this way to be the right way. Yeah, that's pretty. And I don't necessarily usually like to mix silver and rose gold, but the clasp on this is silver, so I don't think I mind. I usually wear this stacked with my rose gold bracelets. There we go. That's pretty. Okay, well, obviously, I need to fix this before it gets really messed up. It holds back on there, but obviously I'm not gonna risk it. Clip it on here and then it definitely won't go anywhere. It just won't be connected to the bracelet. I'll fix that. That is the first time I've had like a bracelet actually break. And I could take it back to the store for them to fix it, but I've had this for how many years? I doubt it's covered anymore. It's pretty. I like that. 
All right, that leaves this Murano. Then I'm just going to put in my little case here with my little bracelet opener. And when I get my O pendant, I will put that back on there. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I will be back um, to show you my whole collection everything in all six layers of my box very soon and I will be back to show you that retired haul. I think I've got four or five things in that haul to open and show you. So hope you'll stick around. Bye!